Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Selena. Today I decided to do a makeup look for my absolute favorite holiday. Well, top five favorite holidays, New Year's Eve. I love, love, love New Year's Eve because you can really get dramatic with the makeup and like no one can say anything. Today I decided to go completely blown out eyes, the touch of gold glitter, and of course, classic red lips. I had so much fun doing this. And if you want to know how to get a snatched face, blown out eyes, and look like a boss ass bitch, just keep watching. first I'm gonna start off with my eyes I already have my brows on um, with the benefit Cabral uh, my eyes primed with Tarte Shape Tape and first things first um, I'm gonna do something that I used to do all the time I'm just gonna put tape on the corners of my eyes so that the eyeshadow is nice and defined and nice and defined all right I'm gonna leave a little space right underneath my lash line where the tape is so it's easier to smoke out in the end and I'm kind of just gonna follow my natural waterline up into where the corner of my brow is. But it's really important to get the same shape because if not, um, your eyes look like two different shapes. All right, let's get started. <laughs> so for the most part, I'm just gonna use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Soft Glam Palette. But I am gonna just take the James Charles for some transition colors first. Um, I threw away the sheet with all the names, so that's embarrassing. <laughs> but I'm just going to take this transition shade all the way to the left um, in the second row and buff that everywhere in the transition. I want the eyeshadow really, really, really blown out. So I'm going to pretty much bring this all the way to my brow bone, all the way up into my brows, basically. Um, this is really similar to my skin tone. So it's going to help to blend all the eyeshadows seamlessly so that there are no crazy lines or anything like that. And when I'm doing really blown out eyeshadow, I always make sure that I go on with a transition that is as close to my, my skin tone as possible so that everything else I lay down really blends and it's nice and really blown out. Alright, so now that I have that laid down, I'm going to go in with um, Orange Soda and Burnt Orange from the Soft Glam Palette and kind of putting those in the same area. Again, these are just two really light transition colors. The most important part of a smoky blown out eye is just going back and forth with the transition colors because that's really gonna make everything come together because smoky eyes are so easy to mess up so you really want to take your time blending everything and burnt orange is the color that i'm going to start to actually build up um, it's going to be the first color that i'm actually worrying about it being pigmented because this is the one that's really going to blend the darker browns and the blacks and now that I have the tape here, I'm going to go ahead and bring all the eyeshadows all the way out to the tape so that I have a nice shape on each eye. Alright, I'm going to go in with, with Rustic from the Soft Glam Palette and start to put that slightly lower than the other ones. And also focusing it more on the outer corner to start creating that wing. All right, now up until this point, I kept everything above my crease and off of my eyelid, but I'm gonna go ahead with this ColourPop. I don't know the name of it because I've taped over it. Hello darkness, my old friend. But this ColourPop brush, it's just a dense dome brush. And I'm gonna pick up Mulberry up here because I kind of want to do berries and golds and all that. So I'm gonna pick up Mulberry and I'm gonna begin to pack that on my outer corner. And I'm just packing it right now and I'll blend it all together later. Right now I'm just worried about getting the color on and then I'll blend it all together a bit later. And I think I'm going to actually pack this all the way to about halfway onto my eyelid. That looks about right. And I'm making sure that I also bring it out here. Alright, I'm going to go back with Rustic on the same fluffy brush that I've been using for my transition and just make sure that all of that is nice and blended. 
and I kind of just run my brush at this point. I'll just run my brush over top of everything, all the colors. So there's no patches or unevenness. I seriously love Anastasia's shadows. They just like, they just blend for me. They literally just like kind of blend themselves. They're so soft and so good for the most part, most of the time. Now I'm gonna go in one more time with the same shade Mulberry on the same um, dome brush to pack a little bit more before I go in with the black. But I'm not gonna bring it as far. I'm kind of just gonna bring it right to the edge of where I brought it last time. And that's gonna be so much easier to create that gradient effect later on. So it's gonna be a lot less blending and a lot less work. I'm literally so excited for New Year's Eve. Well, I'm not so excited for this New Year's Eve, but I love New Year's Eve. Like it's just, it's one of my favorite holidays besides like Christmas and Halloween and Thanksgiving. But it's one of my favorite holidays because you can literally just do whatever you want with your makeup and no one can say anything because you know, it's New Year's Eve. But I have no plans this year. I have no idea what I'm going to be doing. I might just honestly go to work because Making plans sounds like so much work. A lot of the, a lot of my friends are gonna be at work this year anyways. Maybe I'll make new friends and go out with them. Who knows? All right, now I'm gonna start to go on with the black. This is where things get messy, okay? This is where you need to focus and you need to pay attention because seriously, black is such an easy thing to mess up. I'm gonna go ahead and take another dense, a dense shader brush basically to pack the black on. And I'm using the black from the, from the Soft Glam palette. This black is really good because it's, it blends away pretty easily. Like once you put it down, it doesn't get stuck. But um, I'm gonna go ahead and take the black and I'm gonna start to pack it where I would put wings and liner. I know the tape's gonna create the perfect shape for you. So I'm gonna pack it right out here. And then also in my outer corner, I'm gonna bring it up a little bit. So that it really deepens up the outer corner. I don't want to bring it too high when I'm packing it because whew, you can't bring it back down. Let's just say that. And I'm really pressing it up against the tape because when we take it off, it's going to look beautiful. All right. Sorry about that. That was gross. All right, and to blend that into the rest of the eyeshadows, I'm gonna take the same fluffy brush. Actually, I like a thinner fluffy brush and I'm gonna pick up Rustic one more time and really lightly just go in circular motions over top the black or the black and the brown meet. And I'm going in really small light motion because I don't want the black to travel up very far. I kind of wanted to just stay exactly where I put it, but just to get rid of the line that I've created. Perfect. The most important thing when doing smoky eyes is just being really patient and not getting frustrated that the shadows aren't blending at first. You might have to go in with a few shadows to get rid of any patchiness or unevenness, but it's so much, it's so worth it in the end. So patience is a virtue, I can tell you that much. And then as I'm blending, when I have pretty much nothing left in my brush, I like to just pick it up and blend it right into the, my crease closer to my eye, I mean, closer to my inner corner to get it nice and defined. All right, and now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the same little, there's someone right outside my window, the same brush, and I'm gonna take a different black eyeshadow. But this time I'm gonna take the black um, from the Kat Von D Shade and Light. This one's just a little more pigmented, but these shadows are also really great as well. They blend as well, but this one is definitely more pigmented, so I'm gonna keep it even closer. I'm gonna keep it a lot tighter, basically. All right, and to blend that, I'm gonna take a brand new brush. It's even smaller, still just as fluffy, and I'm gonna pick up um, Mulberry one more time, that nice kind of like burgundy brown from the Soft Glam, and I'm gonna put it where the black and that color have met in the first place to really smoke it out right here. Because I don't want to lose that mulberry color, I just want it to be like kind of peaking right here. All right, and now that all my mattes are on, I like to take um, just a clean fluffy brush and really lightly, like I'm holding it at the very end so that the brush is kind of doing all the work for me and I'm not being too harsh. 
I like to sweep over all of the colors and make sure they're nice and blended together. And then after that, you can go ahead and take the tape off. Right, so I'll take this. Wow, beautiful. Now I don't have to worry about doing wings eyeliner. Perfect. I'm just gonna clean up right underneath. For my lid, I was originally gonna do um, just like pressed gold glitter, but I decided that I wanted to keep it as smoky as possible, but still as dramatic as possible. So, all right, I'm gonna take the Stila um, liquid eyeshadow in the shade Smoky Storm. And I'm not gonna do a cut crease or anything because that doesn't flatter my eyes. Um, so I'm just gonna take um, straight from the applicator and pull it from the inner corner to the middle. These Stila liquid eyeshadows are seriously heaven sent, but they can get so messy because I have hooded eyelids, so I really have to make sure they're dry before I go on to anything else. All right, and I'm gonna use my finger to tap over um, where the mattes and that glitter meet, and then I'll blend that out a bit later. But just to add to the glitter, I'm gonna go in with Urban Decay's liquid eyeliner in Cowboy, um, Night Cowboy. This is seriously my favorite like gold glitter, and it's just gonna add even more. Oops. <laughs> this is gonna even add even more drama. These together are such a gorgeous drama. Oh, this is everything I need in my life and more. Seriously, if you like glitter, both of these products are just so. Oops. Anyways, as I was saying, both these products are so gorgeous. They look so wet and they do dry down. Just be careful. But of that, I'm just gonna take some of the matte eyeshadows. That I used earlier, I'm gonna take rustic and put it right on top where I got the glitter. There we go, all fixed, don't worry. And to blend the glitter um, in the matte shadows, I'm gonna take this fluffy brush from Real Techniques and pick up Mulberry and just blend right on top of the glitter. And then that way, this um, matte shadow is laying right on top of the edge of the glitter, so it kind of looks like blended <laughs> you can't really tell where the glitter stops all right i'm going to move on to the face first thing i'm just going to spray my face with some rose water and for new year's eve i like to have um i like for my makeup obviously to last all night long but i also like for it to be pretty glowy um so ow my nose so that is um obviously something we have to work with and I'm going to prime with the Benefit Professional. This is the pearl edition. I love this because it's just as smoothing as the first one, but it gives your skin just a little bit of glow and iridescence, um, so it doesn't look nearly as matte. still fills everything in. The only bad thing about this primer is that it is so bad for your pores, so I don't really use this on a day-to-day -day basis. I try to stay away from it, um, but it's a special occasion, so it's okay. Who needs good skin, you know? And I always, I always spot conceal before my foundation if my skin is just... Had it rough. Oh, I didn't tell you what I'm using. Um, and to spot, and to do all of this, I'm using the NARS Soft Matte Complete Concealer, and I'm using the shade Custard. When I tell you my skin is looking rough, like, I'm not joking, this isn't a game anymore. This is, I'm really out here struggling at the moment. Now I'm gonna go on with foundation, the Too Faced Born This Way Foundation. This is so good, this never lets me down. It looks so much like skin while still giving me the right amount of coverage that I want. All right, so I'm gonna mix the Too Faced Born This Way with a little bit of the NARS Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation, just because um, this lasts a little bit longer, so I'm gonna mix them together. All right. And I'm just bouncing all of this in with a Real Technique sponge. Oh my God. My dog is so cute. Can you see that? No. All right, now that I have a literally more foundation on my face than I ever have before, I'm gonna go ahead and begin to conceal, bring it down my neck a little bit. So today I'm going to, I wanna keep everything nice and bright because I am going for like a wham, bam, in your face look. I want everything to be bright and snatched. <laughs> Perfect. Sorry. It's okay. What was that? Did you fart? Oh, bless you, my honey. Thank you. Who'd ask us? 
Same. Anyways, so I'm gonna go ahead and use a concealer that's a little bit brighter on me. All right, so first I'm gonna go ahead and lay down a little bit of the NARS Creamy Radiant. This is gonna make sure that I get all of the dark circles covered. And then on top of that, I'm gonna use the Instant Age Rewind. Oh my goodness, I am almost out of this. The Instant Age Rewind in Light Pale. Just right on top. And I'm gonna use the same Maybelline concealer to highlight the rest of my face. So I like to put that on my chin, tip of my nose, my forehead, kind of bring it right down. I'll do my cupid's bow too, you know what? We're going big, we're going, we're going bigger, we're going home, so why not? Gotta get fancy. I always, always, always highlight the center of my face. I feel like if I don't highlight the center of my face, it just looks so flat and gross. But I, I seriously always need to do this, like, no matter what. All right, and I'm gonna go ahead, I usually don't do any, like, cream or liquid contours, but, um, I'm gonna be extra snatched today, so we're gonna go for it. I'm gonna use the Anastasia Cream Contour Kit. I like to spray these with like rose water or MAC Fix Plus, any of that before I use them, just to make sure they're nice and blendable and creamy, because sometimes they can dry out, especially because when I do makeup on other people, I leave them open. Um, this is the medium one, and I'm gonna mix the shades Cinnamon and, what is that? Cinnamon and chocolate together. And I'm just gonna contour my cheekbones with these. I'm not gonna bring it anywhere else. Oh my god, the light is right in my face. Whatever, whatever. Um, and for contour, I always start at the top of my ear and I kind of go to the corner of my mouth. As long as you follow the line from the top of your ear to the corner of your mouth, you're almost guaranteed to have a proper contour, if that makes sense. And I'm just using a super small stippling brush. I like to take the sponge and just bounce over it Ooh, to make sure it's nice and blended. Because I don't have time for creases on new ears. Beep, okay? But I'm using the um, Airspun Neutrally, Naturally Neutral Loose Powder. And I'm going to go ahead and bake underneath my eyes. And for the rest of my face, I'm going to set the rest of my face with the Maybelline Matte and Poreless. This is 220 Natural Beige. And I'm going to set it with a big Kabuki brush. So really get the powder nice and set. I'm gonna go in with a <laughs> go in with a powder contour as well. This contour is from the company that I work with doing makeup, but um, they don't sell it on the market, which is really a shame because it is such a nice contour. I love it, um, but it blends so nicely. And I'm also gonna bring that up my on top of my forehead and then on my jaw as well a little bit. So I'm gonna dust all of that. I'm gonna take a Luxie 207 Medium Angled Shading Brush. This is my favorite brush for nose contour. Your nose just really changes your face, you know? Your nose. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and use a mix of the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer and the Tarte Park Avenue Princess, is that what it's called? Yeah, Park Ave Princess. So it makes the face nice and glowy kind of and I'm using just this huge fluffy fan brush and then up on the top of my forehead of course kind of connecting it with my cheek bronzer and underneath my jaw as well and then um oh oh my god my leg just fell asleep oh dear god by baking I'm just gonna go ahead and use the same fluffy brush that I wiped away with my loose powder with because the one thing I hate is when like bronzer isn't blended Ooh, ooh. -hoo -hoo. Just does not look good, girl. It does not look good at all. But I'm gonna go ahead and use my air sponge to clean up underneath my contour and my bake. I'm not gonna leave it too long because if I let it sit, it'll be so much harder to wipe away. Again, I'm just following the line from the top of my ear to the corner of my mouth to make sure that I have it not only even on both sides, but in the right place. And I'm gonna go ahead and wipe it away with the same brush, but this time I'm gonna pick up a little bit of the Maybelline Fit Me. Um, just so that the airspin doesn't leave too much of a white cast underneath my contour. 
and it's not too harsh. Perfect. Beautiful. Gorgeous. Alright. You can't say I didn't hit that just now. Like that. That was a that was a hit, alright? We're looking snatched. I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm looking snatched. For blush, I'm going to use this loose blush. I don't even know where it's from because it's so old, the name has literally wiped off. But it's a mineral blush in the shade Autumn Glow. I like it a lot because it's just so luminous. Take that on a Luxie 514 blush brush. And I like to, um, for like loose blushes, I like just picking up whatever's left in the cap so that I don't pick up too much. And then I put that right on top of my cheek stirs. Today for highlighter, I'm going to go in with the Mary Lou, the Mary Luminizer from the Balm Cosmetics. This one is just an OG, like, always there, always gorgeous, always beautiful. And first, I'm going to go ahead and wet my brushes with just a little bit more of the rose water. And I go ahead and use a super tiny pencil brush for the corner of my eyes. And I'm also going to highlight just the top of my brow bones, just a little bit. I'm not bringing too much up here. Go right on top of my cupid's bow. And then for the rest of my face, I'm going to use the Ipsy V36 Tapered Highlight Brush. And I'm going to go right on top of my cheeks. Oh. Hello, ma'am. Hello. I didn't see you there. And then on the tip of my nose, of course, right on my chin, cupid's bow. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and finish my lower lash line, and I'm going to go ahead and use the super small shader brush, and I'm going to pick up Rustic from the Soft Glam Palette and bring that underneath my eyeballs. Alright, now we can go ahead and do lips, lashes, and we're done! I'm going to go ahead and go with a red lip because I love red lips on basically any holiday. I love red lips in general. This is the liquid lipstick, the Tarte Lip Paint in the shade Cheerleader. This is one of my favorite red liquid lipsticks. Finally, I'm going to go ahead and finish off the look with some lashes. These are really lashes in the style Mykonos. Alright, so my camera died, so all I did was do a few extra touches and spray myself into place, and that is it. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you liked it, and I hope it gave you a little bit of inspiration for New Year's Eve this year. Thanks so, so much for watching again, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye!